Hello, uh, namaste and assalamu alaikum. I bring you to my kitchen today. So I'm planning to make uh, chicken curry for you all. Uh, the reason behind this chicken curry is this, this is something that I cook uh, almost uh, three, four times a week. I cook like three, four pounds of chicken and I eat it maybe once or twice or three times in a day. Uh, depending on what, what kind of workout I have done today, I will eat my chicken accordingly. So let's say for an example, I did my legs workout or my back workout. I may throw in a cup of rice. Otherwise, I eat this chicken just by itself, just the chicken. And it tastes so delicious that I can probably finish all of it in one sitting. But I try to control my portion so it will be about 300 calorie, 400 calorie. And you're looking about you know, anywhere from 40 to 50 um, grams of protein uh, with each serving of mine. So this chicken curry is very favorite uh, for myself and my friends and my family. They all love eating this, uh, this chicken curry. So this will have my own twist to it. Not too many ingredients and not difficult to cook. Pretty simple. It may take about 25 to 30 minutes to cook this. Uh, so let's have a look and let me first show you what ingredients uh, I have been using. First of all, I have organic chicken and I don't take away the fat. I keep it because I believe eating from nose to tail, anything that is there in the chicken or cow, I will finish it. So let's have a look at the ingredients. All right, so let's uh, have a look at the ingredients. As I said, there's about three pounds of chickens over here. I have uh, two teaspoon of uh, coriander powder, one and a half spoon of cumin powder. This is red chili powder. It looks a lot, but trust me, they are not hot, only for coloring and it may have some heat. And then we have a garam masala, which is basically five different kinds of spices mixed together. And this is turmeric. And I have very three small sizes of tomato. Now I have fried onion. I use this only because if I cook the real onion, it takes about 10, 15 minutes. So I save time, this is my hack. I use uh, brown onion, uh, fried onion that I buy from a store. You can skip it. You can use the original real onions. Um, a cup of chopped cilantro. I have um, three table teaspoons of uh, ginger and two spoon teaspoon garlic. I keep my garlic just a little bit less. Three teaspoon of salt. I have also fenugreek leaves. This is dried that you can, you can buy from the store. And last is the cumin seed, which is about one teaspoon. So this goes first. And my oil is MCT oil, which is very, very healthy oil that you can use. It comes from coconut. It's a great oil. So let's get cooking now. Thank you. All right, guys, so my oil is ready. I, I put like uh, two, three tablespoon of oil. I don't want to put too much because the fat that the chicken has, it's going to give its oil on oil. So here goes my cumin seed. Stir it just for like 30 seconds. That's it. I'm gonna start putting my main ingredients. So I'm gonna start with onion and tomatoes. Here comes my tomato. Because the onion is already cooked, so. And here's my onion. I have to just let this cook for maybe like five minutes because the tomato is going to take its time to cook so I'm just going to keep stirring it. My ginger and garlic also goes in. ingredients, coriander, cumin, 
actually, actually all of it. So just going to take a shortcut. Now for the next uh, five or so minutes, I just need to keep stirring this. Just put a little water on this. This is the part that might take, you know, five, 10 minutes to cook the uh, tomato. And the tomato really needs to cook well, like really, they really, really need to get mushed. And I didn't show you guys, I need to put um, a couple of teaspoons of tomato paste. Uh, and that will not only bring flavor, that will also great, give a, a great color uh, to this uh, dish. So now I'm going to just cover this for the next uh, five minutes or so and uh, we'll come back again. All right guys, it did take about five, six minutes, you know. I think I used a very small tomato so it cooked faster. So my tomato paste and everything is ready. As you can see, the color is pretty much coming alive. I'm gonna go ahead and put my chicken, all the chicken in. And I just need to keep stirring it for the next uh, um, couple of minutes. I still haven't put my cilantro, chopped cilantro or salt. I can put the salt now if I want. I'm gonna put my cilantro towards the end and my fenugreek leaves uh, towards the end. And, uh, and there's one more thing, uh, tomato paste. That will go maybe in about 10 minutes. So right now, I am just gonna keep this stirring. We need all the spices to mingle together in the chicken and as far as the chicken um, size that I cut into it's totally up to you um, you can have a bigger pieces you can have cut into smaller pieces you can have chicken with skin on and bones on uh, my family doesn't prefer bone or skin so this is just a Thai meat uh, so it has fat you can make with any any part of the chicken, even the chicken breast. The only thing is chicken breast tend to be on the very uh, drier side. I mean, if I was just cooking for myself, I don't mind chicken breast, but you know, my family's not gonna like it. My daughter's not gonna like it. She's a very picky eater, you know, so. And uh, that's it, the chicken is all mixed. I'm gonna go ahead and put the salt also here right now. And again, uh, the rule on the salt is that for every pound of chicken, you will be adding about one teaspoon of salt. Now, you can add more or less, that is depending on you. So, and we have three pounds of chicken, which translates into one and a half kg, if you're doing a metric calculation. So, that's about it. Okay, I think we are good to go here for the next uh, 10 minutes. So I'm going to cover this and let it cook. I'm going to keep it in the medium uh, heat and just cover it. And we're going to come back in about, um, you know, anywhere from 7 to 10 minutes. All right, the chicken is looking good. Uh, you can see it has released uh, some water. That is cool. I normally don't put any extra water at all. I just use, and I don't make too much gravy. So this is two teaspoon of this will go in tomato paste, and it will make the gravy thicker, and it will look pretty rich color-wise. And that's it. Now I'm just gonna stir it for the next uh, minute or so. 
and the color is going to change so much in just about five minutes because of the tomato paste. Just need to keep stirring for a minute or so. So if you happen to need more gravy, just put some water, maybe, you know, half a cup or a cup, depending on your taste. I like my thing, my curry to be thicker and on the drier side. But of course, if you're eating rice with this, um, then you may need some gravy. All right, I'm just gonna cover it and let it um, cook for another five minutes and then we'll see after five minutes. All right, so I kept, uh, I kept the lid on for the 10 minutes. I, this is the thickness that I want. Uh, so our last two ingredients will go. It's uh, your cilantro and fenugreek leaves. You may skip fenugreek leaves if you're not able to find anywhere where you live but cilantro no compromisation i tend to put a lot more cilantro than what i put because i love cilantro and cilantro you know like it's a green thing you know it has uh, its own nutrition you know the quantity is too little to really say that you're getting a lot of nutrition out of cilantro it's just too little but I put a lot of cilantro uh, in almost all of my food. So there it is mixed. Now I just need to cover this for maybe another two, three minutes. And then we're ready to serve this. I'm happy the way it looks. So let's cover this up for two more minutes. That's all right. it. Guys, uh, two minutes later, look at the chicken. The oil has risen up and this looks definitely amazing. Look at it. Uh, so we all ready now. And uh, all I got to do is just serve it and, and eat it whenever, whenever I'm ready. Again, rice, naan, whatever bread you have, we can do that. All right, let's go ahead and, and serve it up. Thank you. All right, guys, so I am going to serve this in this bowl. So I kept it pretty dry the way, exact way I like it. So basically this is my serving, my dinner, and I'm looking at 50, 60, about 50 grams of protein, and this probably will be 400 calorie or so. That's about it. Uh, please do make and give me some feedback. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.